Okay, this is removing and replacing the hard drive from an AP5000. You'll start on the left hand side of the unit. There's a panel held in by a single Phillips head screw. That's a captive screw, so it's not going to come free of that actual part. If you give that a few turns counterclockwise, it will spring free and you'll be able to remove this side panel. That will expose the hard drive bays. There are two bays. Only one of them is occupied. The hard drive sled has a small plastic belt on it that you can use to remove the hard drive. Pull that firmly out towards you. Keep a note of the position of the hard drive, its orientation compared to the unit. We have the back of the hard drive sled here with the SATA power at the bottom and data at the top. Turn it over, that's the front of the hard drive. Uh, we'll be putting the hard drive back in in the same position and in the same orientation. So once you have your replacement hard drive, again with the back of the sled facing towards us, Slide that into position, make sure it's moving relatively freely. As you push it in, it should move freely until it hits a certain point, and then there'll be a bit of resistance when you push it in, uh, and it should sink quite firmly. It should not be loose or floppy in that position, it should just sit there. Then you can replace the side panel. tighten the captive screw on the side and that is the hard drive replaced.